tied the sleeve. And I'm an LPN here, and so I have you know some pretty high expectations when it comes to medical care and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to Tijuana. The first thing I want to see is the hospital. I gotta check this hospital out. And of course, it doesn't look like our hospitals here because, well, it's Tijuana, but it's clean. So I was happy. They did the blood work. They've already attested to it. The lab people are great there. Um, the nurse that did the ECG. You know, the only complaint I had was I didn't have a window view of while he was doing the ECG. The hotel was very nice, comfortable. Went back for the surgery day. First on the list, I had Dr. Camello. He's good eye candy, I'll tell you that. <laughs> um, into surgery I go, I'm like, I can't believe I'm doing this. I ah, just can't believe I'm doing this. So I ended up, I bled again. And so they had to take me, I, I don't even think I barely woke up from recovery um, before these people were saying, we're taking you back in because you keep bleeding. I had, they gave me two units, extra units of blood and four units of plasma because what had happened, and they had told me that when they, they did my lab results and I spoke with the doctor in the pre-admission, was that my hemoglobin was low. And I've always struggled with low iron, so it wasn't a surprise to me. And they had told me that, yeah, one of the complications with low hemoglobin is that you might, might bleed and it might drop and we'd have to give you blood products. So I said to them, I said, I'm not really good with anesthetic. Like I, it doesn't matter how much gravel you give me, I'm throwing up with anesthetic. I had a spinal with a C-section when I had my son and I was throwing up as I was strapped to the table. So they're like, okay, we'll watch for that. Well, that night after surgery was I retching. I think I scared the nurses because they're standing in the doorway and their eyes were really wide. Just breathe, just breathe. I'm like, oh yeah and you're holding your stomach because you just had surgery. And I had a doctor, the doctor that was working that night came in and he's like, it's okay, it's all involuntary. And he sat on my bed and was rubbing my back. You will never find a Canadian doctor, I will attest to that, that will sit on your bed and rub your back, telling you it's gonna be okay, we're gonna get you through this. Um, so needless to say, because I didn't have a really great night, um, I'd have a lot of blood, blood products and stuff. I think Dr. Camillo was pretty worried about me because he got a nurse to stay with me one-on-one -on -one throughout the night. And I mean, he didn't have to, but he did. <laughs> and uh, I, I didn't have to pay for it. Like, Dr. Camillo paid for, for the nurse to stay with me. I paid a little extra for the, the complications that went on, but I've lost 53 pounds in the four months. I feel like I have more energy. I have more confidence. I, I've always struggled with depression. I had depression, it's a, it's a family history thing. I don't, I feel like I can manage my emotions better because I have that self-confidence because um, I, I still consider myself the fat girl because I still have that mental image of myself and there's so much mental to this as well. It's not just a physical thing. There's still that mental part. Even though I've lost 53 pounds, I still feel like I'm the fat kid. But it was a wonderful experience. They are great, great people that work with uh, Mexico Bariatric. And I didn't do the research. I find now I'm more of a grazer than I am a, a meal eater. I still feel hungry, and so then I go, okay, I need to eat. But instead of getting, you know, a portion this big, I'm taking one or two crackers. Um, I still, every now and then, have a craving for chocolate, because, I mean, who doesn't? But, but I can't eat as much because it's too sweet. But I don't deny myself. Okay. If, if you want to see my 85% uh, of the stomach that I left in Mexico, I have a picture. <laughs> <laughs>